Hey, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net and joining me here is the one and only Tennis with Tyler. If you have not subscribed to his incredible YouTube channel, make sure you go into the description below. A buddy of mine uh, and he has absolutely one of the best Instagram accounts out there. So I'm also going to put that below in the description. All right, Tyler, get the heck out of here. I got to teach these guys how to hit an overhead. So there are five things that I want to help you with when it comes to hitting an overhead. The first idea, and I'm going to show you this right now on the screen, is the continental grip. What you want to do is put the base knuckle of your index finger and your heel pad on the second bevel. That's going to be the continental grip. When you've got the continental grip, it allows you to use the proper service motion slash overhead motion, right? So here's the second tip. I want you to shy away from, unless you're an absolute beginner, I want you to shy away from this point to the ball stuff because what it typically does is it doesn't promote a continental grip. Because, and I'm sure you've heard this, and I've told people, that I can absolutely tell you, I've told people to point to the ball. But the more advanced way to do it is to do it the way a quarterback does it. You look at Roger Federer. When he turns for an overhead, both hands are on the racket, just like a quarterback going back with a football. You want to turn this front shoulder back and you're going to do that actually with both hands on the racket. What happens is players point and they end up facing forward. Then you give them a continental grip and the ball always goes to the side so it actually promotes them using a forehand grip. Get a continental grip and turn with both hands. Third tip, you're going to reach up with your non-hitting hand and you're going to knock off the party hat. If you've been watching me for any length of time, you know I'm a big fan of the party hat moving the racket in over the head. So you want to turn with both hands, reach up, knock off the party hat. Tip number four, you want to hit side spin on your overhead. Don't hit flat overheads. The most accuracy is going to come from a side spin overhead. And the last tip I'm going to give you, then I'm going to start demonstrating overheads, is stay sideways. Keep your body to the side, facing up, and since I'm right-handed, up to the right. You'll notice I'm crossing my arms. This is called the Power X. It stops your body's rotation so that you can swing off to the side of the court. Since you've got the continental grip, you can't unwind and open up. You're going to have to stay sideways as you do this. Let me show you all five tips right now in action. Now the overhead is actually personally one of my favorite shots to hit, so with the camera rolling we'll see how that goes. So I've got my continental grip, ball goes up in the air, I turn, I reach up, knock off the party hat, I hit side spin, and stay sideways by crossing my arms. Here we go. Just want you to see a bunch of these. You'll see when I'm done, my body is facing to the right. Don't unwind. You can see my turn. This is that quarterback idea. You want to move around like you've got both hands on a football. Last one, arms are crossed. Continental grip, turn with both hands. Reach up, knock off the party hat, side spin, and stay sideways. You use those five tips, there's no doubt. You're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.